Okay guys, so now in this video we are going to unlock one uh, uh, Qualcomm phone. Okay, so this is uh, uh, Nokia 2, the model. So uh, this phone using Qualcomm CPU. So now let's see uh, how to unlock this phone. So this phone, if you type in the Google, like uh, Nokia 2 ideal point, then you can see the ideal point they mentioned near the CPU. So so the CPU in this phone, the CPU is inside. Okay, is inside, and the points are very small. We cannot see with naked eyes. So what we did, we did a two jumper wire on these two points. We jumper two wire. So now here we outside we just shut these two wire. Then we connect in ideal ideal points. So now we uh, we have opened the device manager. So First, we connect it our Qualcomm mode. Okay, so you just sort. Okay, so while he sort this two wire, I will plug in. Okay, so it should uh, blink one time, so it's not blinking. Okay. I did scratch for you now, I said it. Okay, so let's try. So you can see the screen is jumping, but uh, still we not able to detect that port. Okay, guys, so we try with another port, means the USB cable will change another port. So now we uh, we just short these two wire, then we plug in, and now you can see the it connected in uh, USB mode. Okay, so you can see Qualcomm HS USB QD loader uh, 9008. This is the port, and here under the device manager, you can see one option port com and LPT. If you click on this arrow mark, here you can see it already made the port. So now this is the important. Okay? Whenever you unlock any phone you need to connect in USB mode. Once we able to connect, then the rest is done by the software. Just few click on it. So the challenging part is to connect in USB, connection. USB mode. Okay. So uh, now let's do again. So let's uh, click erase FRP. So you can, uh, first you can select this option, then when it's so like waiting for the device, then you can connect or you can connect in uh, USB mode then you can uh, click on this option okay uh, that is only applicable for Qualcomm phone oh. if the phone using MediaTek CPU then you need to click the option first then you connect the phone okay this is slightly different okay so now Erase FRP is okay okay it's done then now it's saying rebooting the device so so okay so it's now charging so we can disconnect and we can power on the phone it will be on so make sure whenever you do software uh, make sure at least your battery uh, at least 50 percent charge should be there This is uh, our one of our student phone. So before it got uh, a party low. So now it's saying you can see the welcome message is appearing. So now let's click it. And let's go. Skip. Okay. Okay, so now you can see the phone has been unlocked. Oh, that's okay. okay. So like this you can. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.